Hello people, quick tool update. I just downloaded a Chrome uh, Chrome extension called AIPRM, uh, which basically extends ChatGPT prompts for SEOs. And I just wanted to show it with you in terms of how awesome it is um, and some of the examples you could use for it. Uh, it even actually allows you to export uh, your ideas as well. Uh, the Chrome extension is called AIPRM for SEO, and I'll link it in the description. But there have been people who have already submitted templates where you can um, sub like basically use the templates already created, and I've actually just used my own one, which I thought I would show you, uh, which I'll make public uh, on this site probably today. If I refresh this, it should give me export. So you can export chat. Uh, so you can actually export what you're using in here. I've just created uh, a template prompt, which you'll be able to see in here uh, very soon, which is basically you can go get it to do some research for you to find some sites that are relevant for whatever topic uh, you want to write about or reach to other sites um, out about as well. So uh, I called this one called... Uh, I call this one find relevant sites. So this will go and find sites that are relevant to um, whatever it is that you uh, want to either write about or want to reach out to other sites about. So if I put in here, find sites relevant to running. Because I've done this template, it's already pre-populated the prompt and all you need to do is enter the keyword. And it then goes off and finds some domains uh, for you automatically. Now, obviously, some of these are uh, are a bit uh, random. So, if I add in uh, that was just running. So, e-bikes. Let's add that. Let's see what sites come up. There you go. Look it pre-populates some sites that you could go and check out for what content they have, what they're talking about, how they're talking about it. And it will quite quickly give you some uh, pointers on perhaps what you might want to do with your own site or how you could reach out to these sites yourself. It's also got an export chat function, like I said. Um, and there are pre-populated templates here. So for example, uh, They've got an outrank, outrank article uh, prompt where you can basically put in the competitor URL. So if in here I type in um, running shoes and I go in and I take, let's take one of these URLs. Yes, I agree to your terms. No, I do not want notifications, chuck in the competitor URL, hit enter, and it will go away, analyze what's on that uh, page, and try and suggest a style of content that you could use. Now, obviously, this is copying what's already on that page, but you could essentially uh, take some of the essence of this. Obviously, make sure you rewrite it and then look to incorporate it into your uh, own content, at least the style, maybe what topics it's covering and what you could use. You could, again, you could place in here all the other URLs that may be ranking in the top 10 or maybe the top three, summarize the differences between that content and use it for yourself, as well as then exporting uh, that chat window to something like Google Drive. Uh, it's got loads more. Uh, prompts that you can use so add link to article uh, smart and detailed article writer I wouldn't use that keyword strategy is quite useful you basically put in a high topic keyword and it will spit out what it believes to be a good uh, content plan based on that you could then generate blog titles and get those blog posts created by a human ideally uh, it's got outline frameworks, uh, finding questions, it gives you, you can get silo structures from it, 
YouTube scripts keyword clusters so you can paste uh, a list of keywords in here and it will then go off uh, and uh, and cluster them for you you can like I say create your own prompt so it will uh, give you a list of keywords um, automatically so I could add in here for example give me a list of 50 keywords for the topic and then in here I'd prompt because this is what it uses to insert the keyword uh, prompt hint here you want to tell people what you want them to put in topic uh, 50 keyword list title keyword list Um, Susan Forbes and put my domain in here where are you boom uh, save prompt if I then click on this look it's already pre-populated it with the prompt in the background um, so then if I type in I like to use running as a topic it's pre-populated it and it will then spit out some relevant uh, words and topics, around 50 of them, based on what I've asked it to do. You could then take this list, which I'll take in a minute, and cluster them uh, using the pre-made prompts that they already had, which once this is done, I can show you what it does. Um, come on do you think there we go All right, I could take these open a new prompt go to public prompts uh, where was the clustering where was the clustering uh, pre-made section did I skip it or was it on the second page? Let's go to the second page. Keyword cluster. I could then paste the list of keywords, maximum of 8,000 apparently. Look, it's already taken the, bullet, uh, the numbers out. Hit enter. Oh, look, I've, I've hit too many requests in one hour. <laughs> Uh, let's refresh that. Doesn't like it, does it? Let's try that again. Create an outline. I missed it. Keyword strategy. So it must be on page three. Has it removed it? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There we go, keyword cluster. Let's try those again. Oh no, look, I've hit the I've hit the request limit. because uh, I've been testing it quite uh vigorously over the last ten minutes. Anyway, you can see the example. It would then actually cluster these keywords by topic, um which is very, very useful. Try it out yourself. I'll put the link to the Put a link to the Chrome extension uh, in the video description and have fun. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because more than 90% of you that are going to watch this video don't subscribe um, and aren't subscribers. So any further uh, support uh, from all of you would be very, very much appreciated. See you in the next one.